Greetings and welcome back to Tracks. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this time of year has been so busy for me. I just can't play all the games that I would love to, but I want to give you guys updates as much as possible. Trax has had a brand new update, which is exquisitely gorgeous. Um, there are items both for Halloween and some just for nighttime. So what we're going to do is there's an example level that has um, been made by the developer. Thank you, James, for letting me know about the update, by the way. It's awesome. Um, so we're going to level select. We have a new environment, which is called Clear Night, a nighttime version of the Clear environment. And guess what? It also has stars. Um, we're going to load the the level is called Claire de Lune. This is a new example level. And I've also unlocked all the new stuff just to save time. So we're going to load this and play. And it is gorgeous. So this is the new night level. We've got twinkling stars. We have new buildings. We've got a windmill. We've got all the buildings lighting up for nighttime. I think there's, let's see, 16 plus objects have an alternative look in night environments. It is just beautiful. The fair, oopsies, hold on. That was my, 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 my bad there. Fairy trees with little lights on them. We have, um, there's new tables here, which with red and blue umbrellas, and there's all kinds of other stuff, uh, including these little things, which um, are musical notes. Yes, we have music. So let's take a ride in the train and listen to all of this, because this is just beyond lovely. So the sign tells us full speed, please. There we go. Is that not the coolest thing ever? <laughs> Claire de Lune is one of my favorite classical pieces um, by uh, Claude Debussy, and it is just really beautifully rendered in this particular um, environment here. Let's get out of the train. But as you can see, you can pretty much do any kind of music you want. Let's go and look at the note blocks, and I'll show you how they work. Um, you select them. They are do, 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 right down here under experimental stuffs. You place one down and then you choose a note, whatever one you like. Could be C, could be another C, could be B, could be sharps and flats and all kinds of things. And then it just places it down and then you can place another one. You'll have to adjust the timing. As you can see, these guys are at varying distances apart depending on the note length, but you can create some really cool musical compositions with this. And also the developer asked that if you make a composition, they would love to absolutely see this stuff. and. Uh, and uh, and just show it off. So what else do we have that's new? These guys have been put in the um, the towers that give you cargo stuff. I think. What is this thing? I have no idea what that is. Looks like a table in the middle of the road. Road. It might be a speed control thing. Um, but there's uh, lighthouses. Let me show you what else there is in the build menu here. We've got, um, right, we've got the windmill, which is brand new, which we saw kind of going around. We've got the lighthouse, hospital, and a police station. So can we build a hospital somewhere in case our peeps get injured? Can we put it like behind here? Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. That one doesn't seem to light up at night, um, but a lot of them, the ones with the moons do. They all have lights in them. Oh, whoopsies. Wait. There we go. There we go. It's right click to kind of move things. And guess what else there are? <laughs> there are fireworks. The fireworks are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So let's go and put some down and we'll just watch them go off because it is just lovely. Right. I'm going to put them down here. I'll put down a few of them. Okay. That's my little Araminta. If you heard her, let's go down here and watch them go off. Woohoo. There they go. Oh, <laughs> are they not gorgeous? I think they're just incredibly beautiful. Lovely, lovely. There's uh, also a fireworks box that we can place. Maybe put some in different spots here. I don't know how relevant that is. All right, there they go. There they go. There's the first one. All the fireworks shooting off. Woohoo! 
Oh, how lovely. I should have mixed some of the other ones. These seem to be blue and pink, and the other ones were red and something green, were they? I don't remember. But anyway, it is very, very cool. Um, right, and we have pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Here's a pumpkin, and let's build a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, look at this. Ooh, the spooky orange glow. Nice. Very, very nice. One of the things that I just noticed about uh, stuff, oops, let's just put that there, um, is that if you look, when you're far away, the fairy lights uh, and the trees seem to be like almost more golden. Let's get a, a train and we'll have another run with this. Let's go back up to the beginning of this. See how orange they are in the distance? I think that's a really, really nice perspective change. Oopsies. Oh, no, 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 not that far. Yo, yo. Okay, thank you very much for that time since last save thing. That's interesting. Um, but it kind of creates this lovely, cozy environment. Let's have another go at the song before we end the episode here. Not really an episode, more of an update. So nice. And the windmill is going around here. There, oops, let's go forward just a little bit. It's really a weird perspective to look at the side of the thing. So anyway, I will leave you with this lovely view of the windmill. Thank you so very much for joining me and I will continue to update you guys since this is such a cute game and it keeps getting better and better with every update. Have a good holiday, everyone. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.